Here's what you missed on Fathead and Candy in the Morning. Weekdays, 6 to 10 a.m. on My Country 96.1. My Country 96.1, Fathead, Candy Roth. Uh, we are looking at uh, decent when we get to our high, sunny and 43. Right now, you still might have a little ice out there, uh, some of that frozen over from yesterday. And by the way, tomorrow evening through Wednesday morning afternoon, could have some heavy rain. Does oh. not It does not look uh, cold enough for wintry mix, but heavy rain Tuesday night in and through And then that Wednesday. turns into flooding, and that's also a big mess. Yes, absolutely. So, uh, but today going to be good. You will get up to 43 and, uh, you know, get the, uh, the hoodie and the, the wool hat on. You'll be fine. Uh, this morning, everything, everything will be just fine. Candy. Thank you. Papacito. Yeah. Uh, so this, I wanted to do this earlier in the show, but, uh, we, we ran out of time. Uh, Gen Z. Right, seventy-four percent of young people, younger people, let's say. Um, Give me an age bracket here, <clears throat> so I know what we're talking about. Ah, uh, man, you know why you have to put me on the spot like that? See, because you're not sure either. Hold That's it, nobody's why. really sure. Hang on, hang on. I, you want an exact age bracket? Hold on. <laughs> what? I mean, it doesn't have to be exact, Gen... but get me in the frame of mind. Here we for go. It. Gen Z age range. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, uh, mid to late nineties birth. Oh, uh, and the early twenty tens ending birth. Oh, Evan so, falls into that, but Casey does not. Isn't that interesting? Oh, that is well, that is very interesting. Well, he's Maybe neither one of them felt really mm. fit into there. All right. Yeah. Go ahead. Okay. So, uh, they're they're <clears throat> talking about how these younger people have been starting to live their lives with rebellious fashion, like the old standards of, you know, put a suit on, go get a job, work nine to five. That's, you know, not really the case for everyone. There are unconventional jobs. You have YouTubers, you have tattoo artists, you have all different things. All different, go, all right. different. And I right. can't even hardly remember the last time I worked on maybe a nine to five job at, right? I don't know. I'm one of those uh, people. Maybe I'm a Gen X and I didn't know it. Or uh, Gen Z. <laughs> yeah, nobody knows. Uh, other other popular, and I would say, right, um, the, the, we're talking about the age bracket of about, uh, you know, 18 to 30, right? Somewhere in that vicinity, okay? Where All you're, right. You're getting in there for your first job, your college, your first job, that kind of thing. Okay. Um, other things about this group, the Gen Z, uh, they're breaking stereotypical norms where, like, women are dominating in what used to be male-dominated fields, things like That's that. That's a good thing. Mm-hmm. Uh, going to a four-year college directly out of high school, not, still a lot of people, but there's been some change to that over the years, as we know. Which I think is a good thing. Uh, yeah, every, you know, everyone's got a different way of doing things. Absolutely. For some, it works, no doubt. Um, how about this? Dress codes for social events. People are not, you know, you go to a wedding, you put the suit and the tie and the nice shoes and not so much anymore. People are changing the way they dress for different events, Candy. Um, hmm. yeah, different, and it's not necessarily catered affairs, just social events events the right, dress right. is different um you know what i like the the best thing to happen to dress codes is being allowed to wear sneakers to fancy events i hate dress shoes uh they're so uncomfortable as a matter of fact you may recall i bought a pair of sneakers that they're sneakers on the bottom but they look like dress shoes on the top um and they are the most comfortable things i've ever bought uh, well, you know, Evan is in banking. He works for J.P. Morgan, mm -hmm. human resource. And when he first started, I think suits were worn or jackets with a tie. And now it's just, a, a, you know, a nice shirt and slacks. Yeah, everything everything's changing that way for sure. Which is good. And by the way, I'm even though I'm not in Gen Z, I'm going to put myself uh, in this one. People are now at parties... When you leave a party, 
you don't have to walk around and say goodbye to everyone, especially the host. You don't have to go up to the host and say goodbye. The new thing is you just you, le you just exit. Duck out the side. You leave without saying See, goodbye to the host. it depends who's doing the host. I think if you were at a barbecue, at Barbecue Tom's, and you <laughs> just left and didn't say goodbye, that wouldn't be good. No, if that would be horrible. If I was at my girlfriend's Ellen, Ellen's at a party, and I just got up and left and never said goodbye, no, that's not going to work. Thousand percent. Um, I Listen, Barbecue Tom is a different scenario, different animal. <laughs> All right? I, I show up to that backyard. There is at least a three-second embrace and a kiss on the cheek, and I leave. There's multiple hugs because you can't. You oh can't my just. Goodness. You're not leaving. You're not hugging and leaving. You know, you. It takes twenty minutes to leave, right? So, I could never just hmm. leave at certain situations. I agree with that. I, I wouldn't feel right about that. I know I'd be insulting my my hosts. Agreed. Uh, there, I guess they're talking more about informal, like maybe when not everyone knows each other or you're invited right. to something where, you know, yeah. Uh, but yeah, anyway, a lot of uh, the little, little some things that are going on with the, uh, the so Gen Z crowd. if I ever invite you to a party, mm -hmm. I expect you to say hello and goodbye. Candy, I will be your shadow. If I am at a party <laughs> with you, I will not leave your side. Don't you oh worry my. about it. Oh, my. It's National Career Coach Day. It's an interesting job. Yeah, definitely. You, know, you can uh, help people along with their uh, their life and their choices. Um, yes. It's National Winter Skin Relief Day. And uh, can I say, I did the Vaseline gloves two nights ago, Candy. Oh, you must have the softest hands on Long Island. My hands are beautiful right now. Um, they were chapped and cracking just two days ago. I uh, put a ton of Vaseline on them and put those uh, nighttime gloves on, and I woke up the next day just beautiful. My hands look great. I uh, have been ultra moisturizing my hands for sure, but I just you know do that every day, not when they're cracked. Yeah, no, I don't. I just I don't do that every day. That's why I. Yeah. Uh, you should do yeah. preventive measures so they don't get like that. You're not wrong, Candy. You're not wrong. I know. I know. It, it's National Clean Off Your Desk Day today. It's funny you say that because I'm looking around and boy, does my desk need. There's papers that have to go and that's, yeah, that's a good day. That's a good All thing. Right. It is National Joy Germ Day today. And what, just like it sounds, Joy Germ uh, reminds people to be positive and treat people with kindness today. I try to do that every day. I really do. Yes. I, I, I'll be kind until you're not kind, mm -hmm. and then things might change. No, I, I think uh, I agree. I think you live your life, or you, Candy, attempt to live your life with positivity and kindness. Yes. No question. I come from a place of love. It's National English Toffee Day. Could be one of the great snacks of all time. Really? You like you, that? Oh, I love toffee. You don't like... Um, no. Oh, like My those score, like Heath Bar. No. Heath oh, bar. heavens no. Oh, mm -mm. man. No. Mm. What about bubble baths? It's a bubble bath day today. Ah, oh, I used to mm. love them. I really don't take many anymore. All right. And finally, it is National Argyle Day today. Nothing like a good pair of Argyle socks. Do you own uh, Argyle clothing? Not really, no. No, that's... I uh, don't. But if you wanted to buy me Argyle socks, I'm all for it. All right, I will. Uh, I will. I'll check into that for you. Get what? on that right away, will you? July eighth is your birthday, right? I get that right. <laughs> Did I get that right? You got that right. Thank yes. you. Yes. Yay. All right, I'll. Uh, I'll look into it. Let's. Uh, let's do some good news to round out your morning. A uh, flood in England swept a woman's car down a river while she and her three-year-old daughter were trapped inside. Oh, then, scary. Very scary. Got wedged under a bridge, water rushing all around them. They could have drowned, but a guy named Liam Stitch used ratchet straps from his work van, anchored them to the bridge, and saved them both. Wow, that is impressive, to say the very least. That's a real man right there, Liam Stitch. That's a manly man. 
Uh, the U.S. Mint released three new coins celebrating Harriet Tubman, uh, who oh. uh, obviously we know helped the Underground Railroad, uh, yes. you know, uh, before slavery was was abolished. And um, they include the new five dollar, one dollar, and fifty cent pieces. Very oh, nice. I'll be looking for those. Very nice. Uh, Swiss scientists say they've got a new antibiotic that works on drug resistant bacteria. It's the first new one of its kind in over 50 years, Candy. Wow. Yep. Uh, modern medicine is amazing. It really, it really, really is. is. Yeah. Thank goodness. And finally, an 89 year old Navy vet in Florida loves hanging out at a diner in Pensacola. It's called the Scenic 90 Cafe. So last month, they posted a photo of him on Facebook and said, Mr. Lee loves our company, but we love his even more and the post went viral and now they're planning a big party for his 90th birthday in march at this diner where he hangs out every day i love it and they're asking people to send cards or call in buy him lunch set him up with a gift card right there in pensacola it's called the scenic 90 cafe if you want to google I love that. it mm-hmm. yeah i thought that was uh that was wonderful. Uh, Candy, it's time for us to go. I hope you had a good morning. I had a very good morning. I'll see you tomorrow morning. Do something interesting between the time we're here now and tomorrow so we have something to talk about, please. No pressure. All right. Very good. <laughs> Don't uh, be interesting today, please. I will do my best. Uh, thanks to Ryan and Amanda, our great producers. Uh, we got a uh, full lineup for you. On the way, of course, today uh, here on the radio and some decent weather. Uh, Sunshine 43 we'll get up to for the high. Let's hit the roads. My country, 96.1. Fathead and Candy in the morning, weekdays 6 to 10 a.m. On My Country, 96.1.